welcome back to Foodie Friday. Today we are going to make two different kinds of cookies. The first is going to be a honey shortbread, um, and the second is going to be really, really thin, delicious, chewy chocolate chip cookies. So perfect to make and take with you to work, as I like to do. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So these are the ingredients you're going to need to make the honey shortbread cookies. Um, we just have some vanilla, we've got some honey, we've got some butter, and we have some flour. So four ingredients, super easy. All right, so here we are at the KitchenAid. I absolutely love this thing. Got it from Costco, um, and yeah. So the first step is to cream the butter. So this is two sticks of butter, and then we have uh, one teaspoon of vanilla that I'm going to add in. Two. And this is that really amazing vanilla we got from Mexico, so I'm very excited to try that. And then we've got our honey. And this is probably going to be a little bit um, stubborn. There's a lot left in the bowl. Okay, so everything is added in. I'm just going to lock this guy and start mixing. My butter may be a little bit hard, but I'm just going to let the KitchenAid do all of the work. I love weekend baking. It's one of the things that really calms me down, makes me feel like I've had a break from work. Um, and what's great then is I can take this to work and enjoy it with some coffee, you know, right when you hit that two o'clock schlump. Um, it helps you, you know, just kind of make it through the day. Things are looking nice and mixed up. I'm going to start adding in the flour. Um, everything uh, about this recipe is going to be linked below. I actually got it off of the grit.com website. Um, so that is actually a chicken website. So if you're curious about backyard chickens, um, you know, I know I'm definitely not an expert, um, but they're definitely a good resource. I've used a lot of their tips. So here we are. We're just going to keep adding in the flour a little bit at a time. Okay, so here's what our dough looks like. It's very, very thick and very dense. Um, but this is perfect. Okay, so hopefully you can see everything. I've got it kind of the camera's bouncing on a pot and then like up empty popcorn box and anyways um we're gonna put our dough into our pan and I've already greased this so like I said it's a really really dense really chunky kind of dough and then I'm just gonna take my spatula and press it in and you want to try and get an even layer all right, so once you've got it smoothed out, um, we're going to cut some scores in this so that we can have really nice, um, easy to break. I'm going to take my knife. I'm just going to draw it. I'm just kind of scoring the top very, very lightly. Hopefully I spaced it out okay. <laughs> Looks good. And then one right down the middle. So those are going to be all the pieces that we have. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to pierce all the way to the bottom of the pan along the scores that I've made. And then what we're going to do on top is um, poke some little holes just for decoration. So I, my favorite number is four. I'm going to do four little dots. One, two, three, four. All across here. That one went a little wonky. Um, but yeah, you know, again, this is just for decoration. Shortbread cookies really hold their shape, so it, um, you know, you don't have to do anything too hard, and really where you put them is where they're going to stay. They don't do a whole lot of expanding either. I'm going to put this in my oven now that it's all scored and beautiful. It's going to bake at 300 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes, just until it's nice and brown. All right, so while the shortbreads are baking, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my second batch of cookies. We are going to make chocolate chip cookies, and they are amazing. I'm using Alton Brown's The Thin Recipe. Um, no offense to Alton Brown, but I like mine a little bit less floury, so I leave about half a cup out. Here are the ingredients. So we've got brown sugar, we have milk, baking powder, no, baking soda, yep, 100%, baking soda, do not mix those up, it won't turn the same, um, sugar, flour, vanilla, again, that delicious Mexican vanilla, kosher salt, um, one egg, and chocolate chips, so let's go ahead and get going, I'll see you guys back at the KitchenAid. So I totally forgot to show you guys the butter, but um, butter definitely goes into cookies, so let's go ahead and put that there. And I'm going to start my mixer, just kind of whipping that up so it'll be easier to cream. That looks pretty good. 
I had one stick that was really, really, um, soft, because I left it out, I think, overnight, and the other one was just right out of the fridge, so. So, just a little bit of sugar at a time. And I love the way brown sugar looks. It's just like this little puck of sweetness that can just go, oops, go right on in. I'm going to whip this up. Alright, so that is nice and creamed. I'm going to go ahead and add the vanilla. Let that incorporate. I'm going to add our egg. And then in this really, really pretty um, dummy task, I have some rice milk. So about two ounces. And I think, I think that's probably good. I'll just drink that. Alright, so let's go ahead and add these dry ingredients. So we've got the baking powder or soda, I already forget. We've got the salt. And we've got our flour, so I'm just going to nice and slow. Alright, so I'm going to let that incorporate, and then we're going to add the chips. Probably going to get really loud. Our timer just went off. Let's see how these look. Nice and golden brown. Let's go ahead and take these out. Yum. Okay, so you can see how all of our lines stayed, the little dots stayed. I'm just going to let these cool in the pan. Um, should not be any big deal to take these out. Um, like I said, nice and greased pan, and then those scores definitely help, so... I will just leave that there. Now I'm going to crank my temp up to 375 so that we can do our next round of cookies. Okay, so I am just going to scoop some cookies out onto this guy. I have this tiny, uh, I think this is actually a melon baller. He says he's a number 20. I don't know what that means. I know an ice cream scoop is way too big, and this guy makes the mm, perfect size, I think, cookies. So, um, that, plump it down nothing to it. Um, I usually do two lines of about three, maybe four, depending on how I cut my paper. Some people like to do a test cookie. I just don't have the patience for that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm jinxing myself, but I usually just say, ooh, yeah, I'm a warm cookie, and eat it. And it's usually just fine. So I have my oven at 375. These are going to go in for about 13, maybe 15 minutes. So I'll show you guys when they're all done. Alright, so this is what the cookies look like when I brought them out. As you can see, the ones I put in the middle didn't quite work out well, but whatever. Not how they look, it's how they taste. So I'm actually going to put these onto a cooling rack, and then I'm going to make a French press and have um, a little afternoon tea of coffee. Alright, so here we have the finished product. I've got my French press, I have my shortbread, I have my chocolate chip cookie. I've been trying to drink my coffee black lately, um, just so I'm saving calories at work. You know, the uh, creamers, they have the, um, I think it's like Land Lakes or something, but all those flavored creamers are not good for me. So, anyways, um... <laughs> the good it's doing is I'm just adding the sugar right back in with the cookies, but whatever. So, um, shortbread, nice, it's, a uh, really crumbly, really buttery. You saw there was two sticks of butter in that pan. So you need it like this. You can dip it in your coffee. Very tasty. These guys got a little bit crispy. These were my first ones. Maybe that's why you do a test cookie to see how long you should bake it. Um, but I actually ended up baking these for about thir or no, uh, 10 minutes instead of the 13. So these were the 13 minute ones. You can see they're a little brown on the edges, but in the middle, nice and white. So mm. I just love it. Crispy, thin, delicious. So all of the um, recipes are going to be linked below. Check them out. If you make them, let me know. Um, again, I left out a little bit more flour than what the recipe calls for, but um, it's up to you. However you want your cookie. If you want a little more fluffy, uh, go ahead and put all that flour in. Again, I just like them super, super thin and crunchy, um, but also chewy at the same time. So that's it for Foodie Friday. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys later. Bye. They say give us cookies too. Oh,